No, it was great. I mean, they helped me, you know, become a, a better man and they helped me adjust to the way of living here. You know, coach, you know, taught me so much and about everything and, and it's different mindset here in the States, you know, from the early age, you gotta, you know, get out there. Like he says, some people play to play, some people play to win. I think by the time I left here, I was, you know, playing to win every game, you know. Yeah. You live, you live in back living in Croatia, is that right? Uh, no, actually, I moved to Istanbul. Okay. Uh, I met uh, met my wife two years ago, and she was working in Istanbul as a English teacher. Uh, so I applied for a job at the, at the school, and I got it. So I'm I'm doing some IT consulting for online learning. It's like a top uh, high school in Turkey. Uh, so we're living in Istanbul so right so now. So you're an IT consultant. Yes. So if you live in Istanbul and teach in Turkey, it's probably like working in Oklahoma and living in Arkansas or something. Well, I mean, it's 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 a school that uh, the oldest kids that are that are there are like a top academic uh, in in Turkey, and they all aspire to go to the uh, foreign colleges. So it's like a big English program. So I'm basically I'm not even like you know conversing in Turkish. It's yeah. just like you know English pretty much because there's about like 70 teachers, faculty that that speak English. You know. so does it ever come up over there, or unless you bring it up about what you guys did over here in '94? Uh, well, some people know about it once they once they kind of connect the dots, you know, and they, they they talk to me about it. There's like a, especially like a American teachers, they know, you know, and they they know about the old NCAA, and they know about the team, they know about Nolan Richardson, they know about Corliss Williamson. So so it's like it comes up, and you know, I have I have some stories to tell them, so they they're happy about that. So How many you, times you, have you watched the, the game since then? How many times? Huh. Uh, probably not too many. It's like like four or five times, but but it was like you know, it's it, it, it's just at the time you know like you don't realize what you accomplish you know and and, and now when you look at it it's amazing because it, it it's been so many other games that I watched you know the final fours and you can always like relate to those guys you know out there you know like what they're going through and. You know how much is the 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 accomplishment that you do this? Like you work hard all year, you work hard for three years, and and you get there and you win. You know, and also we have the other feeling of the losing in the finals, but it was kind of easier to bear knowing that you have one in your pocket. You know. I guess you won the prize for longest trip back for the ring. Yeah, it was like 20 hours. So uh, it took total. 20 hours of flight. Yeah. But so three three different planes. Huh? You figured, hey, I'm not gonna miss it, or no, no, yeah, I missed the 15 year, and you know, when I saw the guys on the on the on the YouTube later, you know, I felt really bad about it, and you know, I wanted to be here, and I've been back since like you know 2014, 2016, I was here, so so you know, I already knew, you know, like it wasn't gonna be that that hard of a trip, you know. The the only thing is that I couldn't take more time off work, uh, so it's I'm going back tomorrow actually, but. But it's, I mean, it's, it's worth it. If it was 40 hours, I would come, you know. <laughs> what's what, what's the bomb like? Tough high school coach mm -hmm. and coach Joe Crutchmeyer. Um, and, um, you had a lot of expectations. You were one of the stars, you know, moving in overseas. So how did that prepare you for the tough coaching of a Nolan Richardson once you away? But, and they also were just spending that year in Fayetteville, seeing how the basketball team under Nolan was treated. Did that but I, a little bit of the transition? I think, you know, like, I had a, like a unique situation because the first time I came to to Arkansas, I went to the uh, Razorback camps, and then after we did our three sessions, I played pickup games with Tade, Oliver Miller, and Lee Mayberry. So basically, from the first day, I already knew you know what's it all about. So it kind of grew from there. You know, I think Coach Kretschmeyer is excellent. It was an excellent coach. You know, he was also tough. You know, uh, really uh, taught me a lot of stuff about you know prepared me for uh, uh, American way of t looking at basketball and the kind of you know progress from there and you know ended up finishing out and you know my four years in Arkansas and yeah, what was uh, it like living with no one Rose that was it a year or two uh, you know just that part of it I think you know uh, back then you know I didn't know really what was going on that much but from you know when I look back and you know they had really you know, emotional situation, and 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 you know, as 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 much they helped me, you know, adjust to the way of living in in the states. And I'd, I'd like to think, you know, that bringing somebody, you know, to take to kind of be aware of that that's living with them, kind of help them to, you know, came out of the 
situation they were in, you know. And I cannot thank them enough. Uh, I'm looking forward to going to see uh, Rose later in the day. I'm gonna see, uh, I'm gonna see how she's doing. So, uh, but yeah, I mean, it was, it was just like a regular, you know, regular. I just live with them, you know. Coach, you know, they took me to to the school, you know, and you know, they, they took me. Took me shopping, you know, they fixed the meals, and it was just like I think, you know, I felt I felt at home right away. You know, I did not feel like I was not I did not belong or anything like that. What's the bond like between you guys? Even as far away as you live, you probably don't get to see him very often. But what, what's it like when y'all got like got together last night? Oh, I mean, it's like one of those things, like you know, the same uh, same way I felt when I saw my uh, childhood childhood friend. I haven't seen him in like you know maybe 30 years, and we went to same in, in in grade school. We were like best friends, and then and then, you know, I could, I could talk to him like he was my brother. You know, like we didn't miss these you know 30 years or something. It's kind of the same way with with all the coaches and all the players. You know, his name is still not on that court, and I've heard that there was some discussion with you guys about how how bad that is. How do you think it needs to change? I mean. <laughs> Coach Richardson is one of the, you know, reasons that all this has been, you know, like even talked about as, you know, the Arkansas as, as a, you know, basketball powerhouse. And, you know, he had so many great players there and so many great games. Uh, I think one of the things that would really reflect on that would would be having the Nolan Richardson court because, I mean, you know, that there were some tough practices, tough games, and, and you know, when people came in the building playing us they knew uh, I think they were already like not believing that they had a much of a chance unless they played the perfect game. Corey Beck said one time that whenever things got tough and it looked like you guys might lose he'd always look over at Nolan and he, he said as long as he was over there we knew we, we had a shot. I mean one of the things that you know st stood out in my mind that's is like when he said that that whenever we win the games, it's 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 you guys, and if we lose the game, it, it's on me because I didn't prepare you. So he did his best to prepare us, and that that way, we were in a good position to win every time. And and with our team chemistry and in the way we you know looked out for each other on the court, I think we were able to you know maximize our potential as as, as a basketball team. What a lot of people don't know is that it wasn't easy on you at first. I, I watched those workouts; they were hard on you. They, I mean, they really pushed you. Those players did. Yeah, what do you mean about me personally or? Yeah, it, it was almost like you got to prove yourself to us. I don't oh yeah, that, that was, I mean, it, it's normal. You're coming in as a, as, a, as a young player, you know, the older players will like, you know, give you give you hell as much because they're trying to make you tougher because they know that at some point they will have to count on you to be part of the team. Yeah. Outside of the national championship and winning, uh, the best memory from that 93-94 uh, year for you? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> it's so overwhelming, overwhelming to be like the part of something like you know. It's you know part of the team, and and once you're surrounded with the, uh, with the, uh, uh, with being a number one, number two, number three team, you know, it's really, uh, it, it kind of you know kind of takes focus away from from other stuff. But one thing that I mean I, I think goes without saying was the fans. You know, it's like you know it's it's like. They were behind us 100%. You would come out. And they would camp for like a week before, you know, to get in the game, to get the good seats. That I never seen anything like it. So, so that that was the other, one of the things that, I mean, Midnight Madness. We had 20,000 people show up, you know, for the for the for the practice at midnight. That's I mean, nobody believes me when I when I tell that story, you know. So that that kind of shows you how much, how much you know everybody was was behind us and and it was one of the. I think fans were one of the key components in the obviously in the building when we came and played home. You know, the, the other the other team was like like I said, they they didn't think they, they stood much of a chance. Oh, I got I got a pretty nice setup over there with the VPN. I have Hulu and you know, I probably shouldn't say that, but uh, and and all the games are DVR, so I watch them like the next day if they are not like at nine or or ten p.m. my time, but. I eight hours difference, so it's mostly I watch them the next day. Yeah. Thank you. All right, you're welcome.